how could the government stop citizens from engaging in sex? Not a complicated issue, like, are women people? Would women's bodies ever return to hot? Plus, he wasn't even horny. The US government was racist. I'm here to tell you the true untold story of the recorder, or at least its prevalence in modern day culture. The recorder a sleek woodwind instrument that many refer to as a gateway to the flute or a waste of seven holes. According to Wikipedia, the first recorder emerged during the Middle Ages in Europe. But also according to Wikipedia, Logan Paul is a comedian, so believe what you will. So maybe the recorder was considered an instrument during the Middle Ages, but this was also considered a hat. The recorder's real story begins in the United States in the early 1960s, a time known as the baby boom. It was a time when men returned home from World War II and for a brief moment spouses forgot they hated each other, so they engaged in sexual intercourse the natural way. They raw dogged. Condoms weren't on women's grocery lists and men had yet been introduced to the idea of running errands due to the unspoken rule of women be shopping. Within months, the government began to worry about overpopulation and other risks that babies posed. Would we ever have an enjoyable flight again? Would women's bodies ever return to hot? Could babies overtake their parents and start a revolution? Obviously, men knew condoms were out of the question, but how could the government stop citizens from engaging in sex? China began talks of implementing a one-child policy, but the US government hated that idea because the US government was racist and hated all Chinese ideas. Plus, a one-child policy would lead to abortion, which would give women way too much power. They needed their own system. For months, the government thought of solutions, even using American tax dollars to hold brainstorms at gentlemen's clubs. It wasn't until 1967 that Arkansas Congressman Harry Radcliffe thought of an idea. Harry had just come home from visiting his second family to find his eight-year-old son playing what was known as the recorder, a plastic instrument with a high pitch that resembled a rape whistle that was used against Harry at Dartmouth. Harry asked his son where he received this oversized rape whistle and his son just shrugged and said, Peggy Smith sent it. Peggy Smith was Harry's secret wife who resented being the secret family. Harry knew that recorder was his punishment. Harry told his main wife that Peggy Smith was a cousin who was disowned for being a whore, but his wife didn't care because she liked that their son had a passion. Plus, she was deaf. Terrified of getting caught, Harry tried to ignore the recorder, but the shrill noise echoed throughout the house, driving Harry to drink and even causing him to lose his sex drive. Harry's wife begged him to have sex, which at the time was unheard of. Women didn't start enjoying sex until Madonna's debut album in 1983. Harry turned down his wife's advances because he was so afraid of having a child that could potentially grow up to own a recorder. Plus, he wasn't even horny. Then, late one night when Harry was jerking off in his wife's she shed, he ejaculated and came with an idea. If the recorder made Harry fear sex, then other, less horny Americans could be stopped as well. The following week, Harry approached Congress floor and told a modified version of his story. Then, immediately after, his son played a variation of Hot Cross Buns. After five seconds, Congress was convinced and immediately passed the Harry vs. Wife Act of 1967. It was the fastest act to be passed in American history, but it was not a complicated issue like, are women people? The act required all public schools to teach the recorder starting in the second grade. Private schools were encouraged, but of course this was still America, so rich people could do what they wanted. Kids across America were filling their living rooms with a recorder, and pregnancy rates were dropping drastically. Some parents were even giving their kids up for adoption, but that was a separate issue that was never addressed. With pregnancy rates down and suicide rates on the rise, population was finally headed in the right direction. Not to mention homeless men were getting jobs as music teachers. The recorder is more than just a reason to hate your kids, it's a subconscious birth control created by the government. So before you tell your kids to shut the up, maybe say thank you for saving our resources. God bless America. Maybe this is why no one wants to have sex with me.